People wonder why things don't go their way. Here is the key. Before you step into a new week, I want you to consider this. How do you want that week to unfold? Most people don't think about it. They just let the week keep a dip. They wake up Monday morning and whatever happens, happens. No plan, no preparation, no strategy. Then they wonder why things don't go their way. Here is the key. Don't let the week control you. You control the week. Now ask yourself, have you ever noticed how different things will get when you prepare? When you've taken a little time to think through before jumping into them. Isn't that amazing how things smoother things go when you know what you want and how you're gonna get it. That's what we're talking about today. Setting the stage for success before the week even begins. You see, success doesn't happen by accident. It is something you design. It is something you plan. The best way to start by setting aside some time. Because if you can take a little bit of time to think through what you want to achieve, it's gonna make all the difference in how you feel and how you perform throughout the week. Now, the first thing I want you to do before you start the week is get clear. Clarity is power. A lot of people go into the week with vague goals, no real sense of what's important or what they need to focus on. And what happened? They get lost in the weeds. They spend time on things they do not really matter. And the important stuff gets pushed aside. So I'm telling you right now, You've got to take a moment and get clear. Ask yourself, what are the most important things I need to get done this week? What are the key tasks that, if accomplished, will move me closer to my goal? It doesn't have to be long list, in fact. I recommend keeping it short. Focus on just a few things that are going to make a real difference. That's where your energy needs to go. Not scatter across hundred little things but laser focus on the hard handful of tasks that matter. Here's what I learned long time ago. It's the 80-20 rule. You've probably heard of it. It's the idea of 80 of your result came from 20% of your efforts. Think about that. A small percentage of things you do are gonna give you the majority of your result. But the problem is most people spend your time and the 80% of the things they only produce 20% of the result. They're busy, but they're not productive. Do you see the difference? That's why it's important to get clear on what really matter. What are those high value activities that are gonna give you the biggest return? That's where you want to spend your time. Here is something else to keep in mind. You don't have unlimited energy. You've got to be smart about where you focus that energy. If you're wasted on things that do not really matter, you're not going to have much left for the things to do that. So after you've gotten clear on your priorities, the next step is to get organized. One of the most frustrating things in life is feeling overwhelmed, feeling like there is too much to do. and not enough time to do it. And the reason most people feel this way is because they do not take time to get organized. They let tasks pile up. They lose track of what needs to be done. And before they know it, they're buried under a mountain of unfinished work. But here's the good news. It doesn't have to be that way. If you can't take just a little time before the week begins and organize your tasks to break them down into manageable steps, you're gonna feel a whole lot better. You'll have a clear path to follow. And that sense of overwhelm will start to disappear. Now, when I say get organized, I'm not talking about making some fantasy color coded schedule or spending hours through paperwork. I'm talking about something simple. Grab a piece of paper and make a list. Write down the tasks that needs to be done and then prioritize them. What needs to be done first? What can wait? What's urgent? What's important? Most of us spend our time on urgent things. Things that demand our immediate attention. But often, those aren't the things that really matter in the long, the important things. The things that will move in the needle on your goal. 
needs to get pushed, pushed aside because they're not screaming your attention. So you got to make time for those important things. you got to schedule time in. Otherwise, they'll never get down and schedule your time. If you don't schedule your time, something else will. If you do not tell your day where to go, it'll go wherever it pleases. I'm telling you, that's not the way you live. I once heard someone says, show me your calendar and I'll show you your priorities. Isn't that interesting? If you want to know what someone else really values, just look at how they spend their time. Here is what I want to do. Before the week begins, set down the schedule and most important tasks. Blackout time for them. When I say blackout time, I mean actually write it down. Put it on your calendar. Treat it. Like an appointment with yourself. Be because if you don't, won't happen. Life will get in the way. You'll get distracted. You'll get pulled into the other people's agendas. And before you know it, the week will be over. And you'll be wondering where all the time went. But just schedule your work, schedule your time with yourself too. Schedule time for your health, for your relationships, for everyone's personal growth. Because I'm telling you, if you don't take care of yourself, you're not going to be much good at anyone else. You've got to make sure you're starting, you're staying healthy physically, mentally, emotionally. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with all latest content. Your support helps the channel grow and brings more exciting content your way. That means setting aside time to exercise, to relax, to read, to connect with people who matter most to you. Here is another thing. When you're scheduling your week, make sure you leave some margin. Why do I mean be by margin for? Is that flexible? Because let's face it, things don't always go according to the plan. There are going to be interruptions. There are going to be unexpected challenges. If your schedule is packed from morning to night with no room for flexibility, what happens when something unexpected comes up? You get stressed. You get frustrated. You feel like everything is falling apart. But if you leave some margin, if you build in some flexibility, you'll be able to handle those unexpected challenges with grace. You'll be able to adjust without feeling like your whole week is derailed. So don't be afraid to leave a little breathing room in your schedule. It's going to make a big difference now. After you've gotten clear on your priorities, organize your task and schedule your time. There is one more thing to need you need to do before you begin your week. You need to get your mindset right. I'm telling you, your attitude is going to determine how your week goes. If you go, if you go into the week with a negative mindset, thinking about all the problems, all the things that could go wrong, guess what? You're gonna find those problems. You're gonna attract those challenges. But if you go into the week with a positive mindset, expecting things to go well, looking for opportunities instead of obstacle, you're gonna have a much better experience. I'm not talking about blind optimism here. I'm not saying about you should ignore reality and pretend that challenges do not exist. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is you got to train yourself to focus on the good. You've got to train yourself to see the possibilities because what you focus on expands. If you focus on problem, you're going to get more problem. If you focus on solutions, you're going to find solutions. One of the best ways to get your mindset right is to start a week with gratitude. Take a moment before the week begins to reflect on the things you're grateful for. Write them down if you can because gratitude is a power of things. When you're in a state of gratitude, it's hard to feel stressed. It's hard to feel overwhelmed. Gratitude puts things in a perspective. It reminds you that you need what challenges are facing. There is always something to be thankful for. I'm telling you, when you start the week with a sense of gratitude, with a positive mindset, you're going to approach everything differently. You're going to be more resourceful, more resilient, more creative. You're going to be better equipped to handle whatever comes your way. And before you begin your week, here is what you need to do first. Get clear on your priorities. 
Identify the key tasks that are gonna move you forward. Second, get organized. Break those tasks down into manageable steps and prioritize them. Third, schedule your time. Black out time for your most important task and don't forget to schedule time for yourself. Fourth, leave some margin. Build flexibility into your schedule so you can handle the unexpected. Finally, get your mindset right. Start the week with gratitude and a positive attitude and watch how things start to change. I'm telling you, if you do, if you do this, if you take the time to prepare before the week begins, you're going to feel more in content, more focused, more productive. You're going to be able to handle challenges with confidence and you're going to make real progress on your goal. Isn't that you, we all want progress? Success isn't about doing everything perfectly. It's about making progress step by step, week by week. And take time to prepare and watch how your life begins to change.